What's up guys, it's Sherlock. I'm gonna be late for the video. Let's get going. Tickle my G spot. Uh, 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 uh. What do everybody to me? Sherlock video. Fuck! I've got a contaminant fucking thing off wide angle. <laughs> wow, we woo wow. BLFC sounded like a fucking good time, didn't it? Right, so there's some drama going on about BLFC. I've only done the minimal amounts of research, but I'll touch on two of the most important parts, which is one is a sexual assault and something about pizza. These two are kind of connected, this assault and the pizza. So the assault guy would put up a tweet saying, hey, I got assaulted, but focus on the pizza. It's a good meme, ha <laughs> ha. And you know what? It was a pretty good meme. I'm not gonna lie, the pizza thing, some of the memes that have come out about it. <laughs> Pretty fucking quality memes. I, I sound like such a boomer then. Fuck me drunk. Now with the pizza thing essentially made Wolfie, which great name by the way, about fucking five seconds of creativity went into that, and about 18 of his retarded mates came on a pizza. A pizza that was the last pizza of the night and they were going to throw out admittedly, but they decided to take all these pictures, which I'm guessing it's a kink for them, and then main Wolfie was recorded eating a slice of the pizza in his fursuit because of course, which I'm going to be honest, I'm not, when it's behind closed doors, I'm not overly bothered. I couldn't really give a rat's ass besides the fact that it gives furries a bad name on top of what's already bad about the fucking furry fandom to begin with. But it's also just fucking disgusting. The memes are pretty funny about it, but the thing in and of itself, that group, which made Wolfie look through his Twitter, it's just all sexual stuff, so you can't be too surprised. But the fact that he came on a pizza then like decided to eat it, is so fucking disgusting. That shit is fucking rank, dude. It wasn't even like it was one of the cake videos or something like that from um Filthy Frank. It was just came on a pizza and haha, would it be a gag if I decided to eat it? But then you look back in this cunt's timeline and he's eating something called cum cubes, which is just cum and uh frozen and then put into drinks. So honestly, it must be a kink. It's a bit disgusting, but I'm not here to kink shame. Oh wait, yes I am, I don't give a shit, it's fucking gross. Do I think this guy should be banned for it? No, but the fact he put it in a hallway, then decided to lie about it being in a hallway, is a really fucking stupid move. If you're putting it in the hallway to be like, haha, funny me, we put it in a hallway, look at that, and then we took it back in, it would've been fine. But no, um, there are tweets that were made by him, allegedly where people had touched the pizza, or interacted with the pizza in some way, and they were gonna leave it for the um, people, the hotel crew, to clean up. Which is pretty fucked! Like, why you and your dickheaded mates decided to do that, I don't know what was going through your mind. Uh, probably you were drug fucked and absolutely fucked on alcohol, so no surprises there, it is a furry convention. Speaking of drug fucked, uh, being absolutely drunk at a furry convention, what's a furry convention with about, you know, without a sexual assault case? So this person named, what is their name? I can't remember their name, and I don't have my notes on me, and I just remember their picture was of a crow, so I'm just call it, gonna call them the crow. The crow essentially is somebody that was, uh, hugging one of the people they were staying with in the hotel room, and they got groped! Oh boy, they got groped! They put up a video, which I was watching, and I was like, wow, that sucks, you got groped and stuff, that does suck. But then it turned into something about the furries being over-sexualized, and I was like, you know what? I can agree to a point about the fandom being over-sexualized. This is a fandom where now I've just today learnt of the terminology slut-shaming. I can't think of any other fucking fandom I would hear that in except for the furry one, because furries are completely fucked! So he's talking about that, and then went on to say, it's over-sexualized, blah blah blue it's not very accepting, you gotta do this, that, it's just... <sighs> I don't know how to explain this video. <laughs> like, dude, at first you had me. At first I was like, okay, that sucks. And yeah, the fandom is a bit sexualized, 100%. I, I could agree with that to an extent, yeah. But then you go on to essentially blame gay people, trans people, just the whole LGBT. Just completely blame them for what's happened. Are you fucked in the face? What's wrong with you? What is it with people like this, Genesius, and other cunts saying this fandom is not so accepting, but always making the poorest fucking argument against it. They always make such a poor argument. Did you know if you're a bit more lighthearted and funny and you approach the situation lightly before getting into heavier stuff, you might have more people backing you? Instead of saying, I was groped and I blame gay people, damn faggots. <coughs> 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 And yeah, at first I was gonna talk about that video, and only just recently, like about fucking half hour ago, 
It turns out there is a lot more about this guy. Whether or not I do a critique on them is a totally different story considering they have fuck all subscribers and honestly they're worth fuck nut nothing anyway. But we'll see! And that's pretty much the BLFC drama I'm going to talk about in this video. Um, it sounded like a lot happened. It sounded like a diet rain burst. And uh, yeah. That's all I've got to really talk about on it. That's it. The pizza thing was fucking disgusting. Maine Wolfie, you're a gross cunt. And also, I like the fact you're being all confident about this situation. But then, you know, you hide your face. You hide your face in photos. There is a video where you ate the pizza. And the thing is, you were naked and then you had some cunt behind you in fetish gear, which whatever, I couldn't give a rat's fucking ass about that. But you were butt naked. And I just want to say, Maine Wolfie, I welcome you to the club of the people within the furry fandom that have tiny dicks. Cause, like, god damn, I thought my dick was small, but then I saw yours and I was like, fuck me, did this guy have like testicular cancer or something? Cause it looks like a large chunk of your junk is fucking gone. I at least make up for my lack of size, lack of girth, in at least the testicle department. Or maybe that's cancer, I don't fucking know. There you go, two testicular cancer jokes in a fucking single fucking um, thing. But yeah, Maid Wolfie, I welcome you to the club of furries with tiny dicks. Teeny tiny dicks. I'm so sorry, but not everybody can be blessed in some places. But, you know, at least you're an over-sexualized furry and probably the whitest person living. So you have that going for you. Jesus Christ. Now I know how my mum felt about me. This is how I feel about the furry fandom. It's just sheer fucking utter disappointment. And look how I'm dressed. Fucking Jesus, fur is a disappointing goddamn.